Hey guys. So I thought I would bring you my Las Vegas haul. Um, Sarah and I went with her sister to Las Vegas to see Britney. I thought Britney was amazing. Um, she didn't sing at all, which I was really happy about. <laughs> because I would rather have a really great show with like great dancing and great like visuals and it be nearly perfect than sit through a show for two hours going every five minutes and who knows like if she can really carry that that long. Um, she couldn't even fully lip sync it for two hours, like she stopped every now and then. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it, I thought that was fine, and it was a great show, and it was totally worthwhile, and it was a hell of a spectacle, and it was overproduced to the ninth. So, anyway, we also did a, like, metric ton of shopping. We ate some great food, we went to every mall in Las Vegas. I don't know why we thought we wanted to see every mall in Las Vegas, but we did. So, yeah. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you, some of which I've opened, some of I haven't, so we'll um, get to it. Um, the first thing is that Sarah's sister brought me from the White Company these um, beautiful fresh fig, um, which has cassis, uh, vetivert, and fig, uh, it's a hand lotion and uh, hand wash. They smell amazing. She took a shot in the dark at what kind of scent I would like and brought this to me from England. Stunning! Love it. Nailed it on the head. So perfect. Um, the White Company guys can't really go wrong. All their candles, everything I've ever smelled has been great. Um, all, all of the lotions, everything. Um, oh, I've been looking for this. Hmm. Washcloth. Um, okay, so from Sarah, I got a bag full of stuff. She gave me her Luna oil, which she can't, um, like, it doesn't work for her, which I am so grateful for. I love Luna Oil. This stuff's very expensive. I will take that and use it in good faith. She also gave me like pretty much a third to a half of a good jeans. That's a good friend, guys. <laughs> she doesn't. That's not her bag either. I don't. I don't. It might be that um, the acids in it that I respond to so well don't do well for her. I'm not sure. So that's like a good case for watch all the YouTube videos you guys want, but like make sure to get a sample and try it yourself because. You don't want to spend a lot of money on something that doesn't work for you. And some things that work for me or someone else or someone else might not work for your skin type. So make sure to like do your research, which I think is great, and then go try it yourself because it's skin and who knows. Um, I got a Cheeky Bronze MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I love Mac Mia MAC Mineralized Skin Finish for sure. I got a Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Um... She gave me the Herp, the Elliot Splash Glitter, which is now everyone, everywhere. I can I can talk today, guys. Like, I'm back to my old normal self already. Um, this one's called Platinum Sand. It's stunning. Um, and it is literally everywhere. It was all over my bed the entire time I was there because I, like, I just took it out of the, like, I took it out of the bag. I didn't even open it. I have two MAC pigments here. Um, a green one and a blue one. Bell Bottom Blue and in teal. These are going to go to good use. I love me a pigment. Um... I think she doesn't like them because they're, they're kind of a pain, you know, they get everywhere. I have learned how to press pigments, so I'm probably going to do that to them. Um, and lastly, we have a blush here in um, Sunbesk. It is a beautiful MAC blush. Looks like that. I will give these all a wonderful home. Thank you, Sarah. Um, it was weird because it was her birthday. I showed up with nothing, and they gave me presents. That's the way that they are. Um, <laughs> we stayed at the Bellagio, um, is that right? Yes, Bellagio. Um, watch the fountains. We had a fountain view room. It was stunning. Sarah booked us the most beautiful room. And in it, they had a Garon, uh, perfumery. Um, and so I bit the bullet and bought the Tonka. The Tonka is not for everyone, guys. So this comes in a beautiful glass bottle with, you have the option of a spray bottle or, um, the atomizer. Uh, everyone says do not if you use the atomizer do not leave it on there because it will deplete your Tonka much faster um, This these perfumes. It's not just the Tonka the, this bottle and this the style of thing There's a like a line of about I think ten of these that are all different fragrances The Tonka is the one I like it and the one Sarah likes uh, we actually tend to like the same perfumes um, It's dark it's musky uh, As she would say putrid <laughs> It's not putrid, but it does kind of smell like an animal peed on you, so maybe. Uh, yeah. Anyway, got that guy. That was a big purchase, and I am super happy with it. Um, yeah, so we went to Sephora, and the thing I was after was this Derek Lamb 
um, Ted and Crosby 2 a.m. Kiss Eau de Parfum. I got the smaller bottle. It's about, I think, $100, like $90, $95-$99. And it actually is about this big. This guy is really weird because it smells like two completely different smells at the same time. Like one is really clean and really fresh and one is really like dark and musky. And it's really weird to have them together and I kind of love that. Every time I smell it, I'm like, yes, I want to squirt. I kind of want to squirt it all over me right now. I'm not going to for my husband's sake. Um, somehow we got talked into the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold um, cleansing butter. I do like a cleansing butter. I have tried this guy. Um, my initial impression, oh, I can show you what the inside looks like because it's open. Um, looks like this. Um, so I was kind of, a, I, I saw that it said cleansing butter and I was expecting a cleansing balm. And it's not really a cleansing, it is like a cleansing balm, but not really. It doesn't milk up when you put water on it. Um, it doesn't feel as oily as a balm. And, or butter for that matter, because butter is oil. Um, and uh, when it w when it came off very easily and didn't leave anything on my skin. In fact, it left my skin just like a tad bit dry, um, which had me a little concerned. So I'm going to try this when I'm not in Las Vegas, because that could also be why my skin was dry. I'm just used to a cleansing balm that will leave your um, skin feeling like very like massaged in with oil, you know what I mean? And this didn't do that. So I'm going to try this again and I will do a full review on this when I get my wits about me. Um, I got a pair of Velour Lashes in Buff and Wispy. They are pretty crazy. Let me see if I can pull these out. I can. So I just tried on a pair of lashes before I put these ones on that were like this and they were super drag so we're gonna see how these go. Um, I'm gonna try them. These are actually a little bit smaller and, and less drama than the ones I tried on. The ones I tried on were, here we can con contrast and compare were these. Um, <laughs> and I put them on and I was like, I look like I have giant caterpillars on my face. These have gotta go. So I took them off and put these on, which I like that much better. And these ones, by the way, in case you wanna know, are House of Lashes Pixie Lux. I like these. They're drama without, drama. Um, anyway, if, if those ones that I just tried on, I'm going to try them again. If they don't work, I'm going to clean them thoroughly and give them to Sarah because I'm sure she will use them in good faith because she loves the drama lashes and she has the eyes to pull it off. I do not. <laughs> I got a um, Sephora lash applicator and let me see if I can get this open without destroying everything because I'll show you why I got it. These are like lash applicators look like this, right? Um, and I've never seen one with this like pointy thing on the end and it's like it's actually rubber and it's bendy. The thing on the end of all of them, like I'm always pushing my lashes down with the backside, but it's usually metal and it's kind of scary. This one's actually like rubber and pointy so I thought, hmm, let's try that. That seems like a lot safer because I'm always terrified I'm going to poke myself in the eye when I'm putting on lashes, which is sometimes why I'm not wearing lashes. Sometimes I'm not wearing lashes because me and my lashes got in a giant fight about something. Truth be told. Uh, they gave me, randomly, a um, gift card thing, which is actually a mirror, like the Sephora gift card is, is a mirror. Oh, do you guys not know this? Maybe you don't know this. When you get a Sephora gift card, it comes in a mirror. So like, they give you this mirror and it's it's like a twofer, you know, like a ten times and a, it's probably not ten times, it's probably a five times, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go mirror. Um, it's a mirror. It's a very nice mirror. And they're plastic. and. They're practically disposable, so if you break it, whatever. So I like those because you can throw them in your bag or whatever, which I think is great. Thanks, Sephora lady. Um, lastly, at Sephora, I got the a giant thirsty cleanse cleanser. Um, I haven't opened this yet. Let's see what happens when I open it. It is in fact a giant thirsty cleanse cleanser. I thought the one I had was full size. It was not. It comes with all this crap on it, which I will read later. Um, yeah. So it looks like that. I love Thirsty Cleanse. I'm going to do a video on it in just a few minutes. You guys will see it soon. Um, if I have already put it up, I will put it down below. If not, it's coming to you soon. I love Thirsty Cleanse. I love Thirsty Cleanse Cleanser. I love Thirsty Mud Mud. Like Glam Glow. I haven't tried a Glam Glow that I don't like. I've tried a Glam Glow that I was like, meh, too. But not one that I didn't like. Um, and most of them I really, really, really like. I think they're way too expensive. Like just astronomically expensive. But I do think they're effective. So... There's that. 
Um, what next? Oh, I went to Inglot. Oh, guys, I went to Inglot. And I did, I did this. So I made myself the most beautiful blush palette that has ever been. I went through and I tested all the blushes and I picked out the 10 ones I liked the best. This one's actually a highlighter and this one is like a blush highlight kind of thing. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona one that looks almost exactly like this today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I am pale AF. All of this is makeup. So <laughs> I need blush bad. I also got myself a Duraline. I already have one, but it's it, Duraline is the thing. If you guys don't know what Duraline is, it is um, a fluid. It is not water. And it's, it's, it's kind of like putting tears into things. <laughs> um, it's a, like a neutral fluid and you can use it to make pigments metallicized and wet. So you can use them wet. You can use it to um, revive your eyeliner when you're, when you're like, uh, what is that called? Gel eyeliner goes like all hard and gross. You put some of this in there and just sort of mix it for a while. Your gel eyeliner will come back to life. You will not save it forever, but this stuff does a doozy. I know you'll get a lot more uses out of it if you do this. I think this is $10 a bottle and this will last you like forever. Um, especially if you have two like me. Okay, what else we got? Um, we went to NARS. <laughs> um, so what happened in NARS? Let's see what this is. This is Sheer Glow. So I got me some Sheer Glow, um, which I've never tried before. I tried it on there. I got it in Deauville. Looks like this. It's like a smidge yellower than I am, but that could neutralize me down. Um, he put it on. I really liked it there. Um, it wore really well for the rest of the day, so I think I'll like it. I want to try it with a beauty blender because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it look even better than that guy did. Um, he pounded that stuff on my face, so I think I can do a better job. Um, this is the illuminator that is exclusive to the NARS stores. Um, this is 413 Bleaker um, illuminator. It comes in a squeezy tube. Let me see about squeezing a little bit. Of, I squeezed some out there and I was like, oh my goodness. You guys see that? Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, this stuff's mom.com. So I like the NARS Illuminators. Um, fluids aren't usually my, my jam, but I have learned to put them like in my uh, foundation and stuff and or in just some moisturizer. You get a good glow going on from that. Um, let's see, I got some other stuff. I did get a duo in Isold. Everyone probably knows what this looks like. It's very famous. Um, but I didn't have it, so now I do. Um, it looks like this. It's brown and gold. This is not normally something I would buy, except I stuck my fingers in it at the store and I was like, sold, you sold. It was good. These, these eyeshadows are amazing. They're $35 for a duo and $25 for a single though. So like, hold on to your panties when you gotta go into NARS and get some stuff. But yeah, do what you gotta do. And then I got this guy, which is a single in Pasiphae, P-A-S-I-P-H-A-E, Pasiphae, I think. And it is this weird, shifty, green, gold, brown, red, nutso stuff. I don't know if you guys are even going to get this in here, but this was also stunning. Like, we, we just stuck a little bit on Sarah's eye, like, right there. We just like, dude, so pretty all day. Good stuff. Um... Then I also got, there's some, some of their new spring collection, these guys, um, I am pretty sure that these are the intensity duo, duos because those are my jam. More highlighter, what do you know? Um, <laughs> there's some more highlighter in this hole still. Um, you guys, I'm going to do a highlighter collection. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So liberation, new for this. One of these is actually limited edition and one of them will be permanent. Liberation comes in this packaging uh, for the spring collection. And then I think it goes to being permanent. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Um, yeah. Uh, then we have sexual content that came in this packaging and I'm pretty sure that this one is limited edition. Um, that guy looks like this. It's a darker blush. Um, you can use them individually or swirled together. Every time I've used them, I use them swirled together. 
Um, a lot of people have a problem with these blushes um, because they don't really understand how to use them. You need to get a really dense bl brush. I can use words. Um, I don't know if I have it like on hand. I don't, I don't have to dig around for it. But, oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it, actually. <laughs> this is the NARS brush that they have that comes specifically for this thing. You guys see the ice cream in? Um, <laughs> it's, ooh, it's full of blush right now. Um, it's super dense, and you need a super dense, like, kind of hard brush. Like, not hard, hard, but, like, like kind of hard. And you really got to get in there and swirl it in, and then just lay it into your cheek. It blends in so beautifully. It looks just like your skin is perfect but you have to use this. Um, and if you don't have a dent, if you're trying to use a fluffy brush, blush brush with those blushes, it's not gonna work out. It, and it, you will be like, why is this not pigmented? It's not coming off, blah, blah, blah. A lot of people have problems with these blushes because of that. Um, lastly, we went to Kiko. I got this um, high pigmented number four um, eyeshadow. It looks like this. I am going to swatch for you. It's a very like natural finish. It's an eyeshadow. I'm using it as a highlighter, obviously. Um, <laughs> it looks like that. Um, and then we found 208. I've been on the search for 208 for freaking ever, probably like a year now. I actually have Heat Wave itself, so it doesn't really matter if I have 208. I also have like every dupe for for Heat Wave ever. I have the like. Um, I think there's at at least two more. There's like um. Make it Forever one, and there's a Wet n Wild one, um, and I have both of them. They are all, in fact, dupes. None of them is really Heat Wave, um, but they're pretty close. This is 208, and you know what's so crazy about this whole thing? You know why my highlighter obsession is so insane? Because I don't even know if I look good in gold highlighter. Like, I'm definitely, like, a silver kind of tinted person. Like, I should be wearing, like, the peach ones and the silver ones and the, the white ones. I don't know about the gold ones. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I'm, like, obsessive about them. This is 208. Um, it's stunning. I will swatch this for you. Look at that. It's gonna be in the middle of my hand here. This guy. So hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah. Had to get it. It's super cheap, like a Kiko. It's like eight bucks. And I didn't even find it. Sarah found it and threw it in my bag when she was done. Like she bought it for me. So thank you, Sarah. I love you. We also have some stuff from Walgreens. Um, I got the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder. Looks like this. Hopefully you can see it with my lights. Um, basically I went into the crazy Walgreens there and I bought three highlighters. Oh no! This one died. Um, so this was the Pure Afterglow Illuminating Powder. Looks like this from Pure Minerals I think it is. And it looks like it crashed. Um, Death. Death happened. So sad. Um, that's okay. No one has too many highlighters. It's a waste of money, but other than that. Um, I also got a Girlactic Beauty, because they had Girlactic there. Thought that that was pretty cool. Um, highlighter, and this one's in Luster. It's beautiful. Um, let me see if I can get a swatch going for you of this. Ooh, that's super pinky. That's like a blush topper. It's right there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, anyway, I just went through everything we got in Las Vegas. Too much stuff. Hopefully Sarah will film her haul soon so you guys can get a look at that too. And if she's already put it up, I will go ahead and link that down below for you. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time after this long, long haul. Thanks for making it all the way through. Bye, guys.